Hey everybody, in this reading we'll be looking at things uh, that didn't come through in my other readings for whatever reason. Um, and these things could be about love, work, friendship, trips, whatever comes up. I'll do a couple of spreads and maybe um, additional clarification or outcome spreads if necessary. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. Here's the first lost message for you Sagittarius. We have the Tower, clarified by the Ten of Wands. We have the Devil, clarified by the Five of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands, clarified by Temperance. And uh, we also have the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing um, with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have Capricorn and uh, maybe Scorpio. You know what Sagittarius, it really reminds me of my Beware readings I do every once in a while. Okay, so you got to be aware of this Queen of Swords you know, that we see, that we have on the bottom of the deck. So it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or somebody with a lot of air in their chart. And uh, I think this person is going to lure you into something bad. You know, I, I don't know what your affiliation with this Queen of Swords is, but... Um, and uh, perhaps it's not this person's fault, but something is about to... Uh, go down, right? We because we start with the tower and it's followed up by the devil, and it's just everything about this spread is wrong. Absolutely everything. Again, I don't know what the heck this person is doing or what they're going through, but you will end up being hurt because at the end we do have you. You showed up in your own reading, right? Temperance right next to the deck. That's you. That's your major arcana card. And uh, you're clarifying the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is a card of a wounded warrior. So you will get burnt. Right? You will get in trouble. This person will get you in trouble. This person is trouble. This person is bad news. Right? The devil in the middle, um, it could be a card of addiction. It could be a card of somebody who is very toxic. Okay? Um, the Five of Wands clarifying it is a card of drama. It's a card of a conflict. And uh, the tower, the first card that came out, is a card of when things fall apart. Right? Things fall apart. The ten of wands clarifying it is a card of a burden. It's a card of somebody, something that they, takes a toll on us. It's a card of a struggle. Um, and uh, I think it has something to do with this Queen of Swords. Again, I can't really pinpoint uh, exactly what's going on with this person, but this person is bad news for you. Okay, it's bad news. You will... You will not be uh, happy because this person is trouble bad news they will get you involved in something you don't want to be a part of so be careful of this queen of swords Sagittarius all right I don't think we need to do additional spreads clarification spreads because as we as you can see at the end temperance but find the nine of us that's you as a result of this so be very careful all right, so let's move on and take a look at another uh, lost message for you real quick. Here's another uh, lost message for you, Sagittarius. Even though I don't know how something like this could be a lost message. Anyway, we got the Six of Swords, clarified by the Ten of Swords. We have Justice, clarified by the Sun. We have the Six of Wands, uh, clarified by the Nine of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing um, with a Libra... Leo, perhaps even another Sagittarius or any zodiac sign because this is a very specific, very particular reading. Someone here, Sagittarius, is leaving something or someone behind so they could either come your way or so that they could come back to you. They're definitely, you will definitely be hearing from this person, right? And it's like they're definitely leaving something or someone behind with the Six of Swords clarified by the Ten of Swords in the beginning. Right? This person could be breaking up with somebody or getting a divorce. Or they could be, if this person is at a distance from you, they could be dropping everything, getting a U-Haul, you know, <laughs> loading it up with their belongings and driving over. I don't know <laughs> if you're going to be happy about that, but uh, it's one of the scenarios, right? Or maybe they are going to be dropping like roommates and moving out and those roommates will have to scramble and find a new roommate for but uh, this person is moving in with you or you guys can uh, find a, a new place and move in together you know something among those lines they're definitely leaving something or someone behind with those six of swords and a ten of swords so they could be with you right the justice in the middle is clarified by the sun two major arcana cards justice could be a libra the sun could be a leo 
Uh, Leo season is upon us in a couple of weeks, by the way, right? But justice could be an apology, right? Justice could play out as a card of a major, major apology. But justice could also be a card of, um, um, like, the legal system. And, uh, you know, when people get married or when they, go, when they get divorced, Right, they go through they go through legal system, <laughs> so it could be them filing for a divorce, or this if this person is not involved with anybody, they could be filing for a marriage license with you, <laughs> okay, or both, or both. The sun clarifying that, um, like I said, could be a Leo or Gemini, but the sun is a card of clarity, and it's also the happiest card in the deck. It's the happiest card in the deck. Speaking of happiness. At the end, we have the Six of Wands, clarified by the Nine of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. And then we also have the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. The Six of Wands used to be called the Proposal card. Sagittarius, right? So they could be proposing to you. The Six of Wands is also a card of victory, success. It's a card of feeling good about yourself, feeling good about what's going on. It's a card of attention. So you could be in the center of attention for this person. You're the center of the universe for them. The Nine of Cups clarifying that is a card of a satisfaction and fulfillment. It's also a card of uh, some sort of an event for some of you. The Will of Fortune clarifying that, as you can see, I clarified it twice. The Will of Fortune is actually one of your major arcana cards, Sagittarius. It could be interpreted as multiple zodiac signs, and uh, Sagittarius is one of them. And the Will of Fortune is also a card of, again, going somewhere, moving, relocating, moving in, all right? And it's also a card of uh, starting a cycle, a very fortunate cycle. Right, the Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads, and uh, fortune, the word fortune is there for a reason. The four ones on the bottom of the deck is a card of a commitment of marriage. Some people call it the 11-11 card. And uh, as you can see, there's two people in, it, in the four ones, right? That's you and this person. Okay, so one interesting reading. One interesting reading after another. The first one was interesting, <laughs> and so is this one. Right, um, but you know what? Let's um, let's get an additional spread. It looks very good, very promising. But I just want to confirm uh, that that uh, it's good for you, even though I, I believe it is. I just want to make. I just want to double check. All right, let's let's ask for an advice and the potential outcome at the same time and see what comes up. So here's that additional second spread uh, for you, Sagittarius. We have uh, the Hierophant, the Two of Cups, um, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So here's the deal. I assume the Ace of Wands belongs to you, because you're a fire sign. And I assume the Ace of Cups belongs to the person you're dealing with. All right, maybe a water sign, maybe a water sign. But uh, when two Aces show up, it's like one Ace per person. All right, then we actually start with a Hierophant card. Could be a Taurus you're dealing with, but it is a card of something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. It's also a very formal, official, educational, religious, spiritual card. All right, as you can see, we have two of cups right next to it, and we see two people in it. I also assume that's you and your person, okay? Um, this is a soulmate card. It's a card of when two people are on the same page and feeling the same way towards one another. So this spread is kind of in reverse. <laughs> I would usually expect the uh, aces showing up in the in the beginning right uh, but perhaps it's just a, uh, a way of the universe to say when the hierophant showed up right away that yes this is definitely meant to be this is definitely somebody you can commit to right and then we had the two of cups and the two aces all right so yeah it is a confirmation uh, sagittarius that the two of you are definitely moving forward together all right so that's what i have for you for this reading, for this time period, if this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. And other than that, Sagittarius, have an amazing July.